Grade 8 Math Number 3.2C, Calculating Slope M. If you haven't seen 3.2A or B, I really, really advise it because I do these videos in order and if you just jump in at 3.2C, you may not know what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we go. As we said in the previous video, a rate of change is the ratio of output over input or Y values over X values. And a function is an input-output relationship and some can be represented by an equation with two variables like y equals x plus 1. And for each input value that represents x, there's exactly one output value for y. And if our x value is a 2 and our function is y equals x plus 1, our y output is going to be a 3. If our x input is a 3 and this is the same function, our y output is going to be a 4. And when the rate of change in a relationship is constant, like Lisa's hike in the previous video. Any segment of the graph has the same steepness. The constant rate of change is called the slope of the line. This is the slope of the line right here. See, that's the steepness. And in the slope formula, it's m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This letter m stands for the slope of the line. If we can figure out these xy coordinates, we'll know the slope of the line. It'll be the rate of change. So the slope formula is m, the slope of the line, is equal to the y value, y value for 2, 0.2, minus the y value for 0.1, over the x value for 0.2, minus the x value for 0.1. And this m means, actually, the slope of the line. And the slope of the line is the ratio. It's a fraction. We can see it's a fraction. And it's the change in y values, the rise, for a segment of the graph to the corresponding change in the x values, the run. So the y is the y rise and the x is the run. And you're going to hear rise over run, rise over run. And now you're going to know what it means. So we can find m, that slope of a line, by choosing two points on the line. So we do. We choose two points. I chose this one for point 0.1 and this one for point 0.2. Okay. I like to choose the lower one as the first point because it started from here. This was the first hour she walked, and she walked three miles. The second hour, she walked six miles. And in the fourth hour, she walked 12 miles. See? So we found point 0.1 and point 0.2. In point 0.1, x1, here's point 0.1, x1 is going to be 2, and y1 is going to be 6. See? So we found our x1 and y1. It's 2 and 6. Now for point 2, that's this one, our x value is a 4 and our y value is a 12. See? So we got 4 comma 12. Now we can do the subtraction. So we find the change in the y values first. That's the rise. It's y2 minus y1. And we look at our two coordinates. y2 is a 12 and y1 is a 6. So we're going to do 12 minus 6. 12 minus 6 is 6. We've got a rise. Now we find the change in x values. That's the run. It's x2 minus x1. x2 is 4. x1 is 2. We're going to do 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. Now we've got the run. Now all we have to do is put the rise over the run, the 6 over the 2. We plug these values into the slope formula that the slope of the line is equal to the y2 minus y1, that was the 6, over the x2 minus x1, that was the 2. So the slope formula says the slope of the line is 6 over 2. We simplify the 6 over 2 as a 3 because 2 goes into 6 three times. We know the slope of the line is 3. That means she walked 3 miles per hour. See, it's the rise over the run. It's the 6 over the 2. The slope of the line is the rise over the run. Now, if we look at this graph, we can actually see it. These go up by 2s, OK? So each box represents 2. It goes 2, 4, 6. That's our rise, 2, 4, 6. And our run is in single digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our run is 1, 2. So we can just count it and see that the rise is 6 and the run is 2. We got 6 over 2. We've got a 3. 
And it really matters what direction the arrow is pointing because the arrow is pointing up towards the right in this direction. We've got a positive rise over run. If it's pointing this way, going up to the left, we're going to have a negative rise over run. We'll get into that in the future. But right now, you now know what a rise over run is. So remember, the graph of a proportional relationship is a straight line through the origin. See, the origin's right here. And from our graph, we can say the relationship between Lisa's time and distance is a proportional relationship. She walked three miles per hour on her hike. We proved it with the rise over run. Okay? So now you know how to calculate a slope m. If you have any trouble with this, just let me know on Twitter. And you can send me a message. And I'll be glad to post this or any other whiteboard that you need as a study guide. Because you know you can print these and you can save them into a file. And don't forget to hit the like button if I'm helpful. And I'll see you next video. We can do this. You'll be fine. Bye.